Bal Thakre was against it. Pramod Muthalik hates it. But FM channels can't stop blaring it. So what is the truth about Valentine's Day? Do young people in colleges take it seriously? I have been in uh, 13 relationships till now. Valentine's Day, I don't know, according to me, people are unusually very nice. People are in red. People are like damn sweet that day. And then you see people with cards and people asking each other, Oh, what are you doing on Valentine's Day? You know, and things like that. People buying balloons, red balloons, heart-shaped balloons. Valentine's Day being an, op- an opportunity to celebrate love, no, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. Those who call it bad, go sleep that day, do not wake up, wake up the next day. I think the whole idea of Valentine's Day has been uh, completely exaggerated by card companies and gift companies because uh, that's uh, that's how they, that's one of the days that they sell the most. And yeah, there are a few people who wait for the Valentine's Day and they are so tense if they don't get the get any date. According to me, the whole idea of celebrating your love for a special someone on a particular day is 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 very is meaningless, you know. Well, they can't seem to make up their minds. But nobody can deny that St. Valentine reminds them if they are single or special to someone. Why do people get into relationships and how do they play out? It is important to be in a relationship when you are in college because uh, once you are married, you don't want to be surprised, you know, you want your wife to be satisfied. It's natural, it's your hormones, partly your hormones, partly, uh, it happens when you grow up, when you're in your teens, you have, you have crushes on some people and then you grow up, you, um, I mean it's human to fall in love. It starts with phone calls, uh, the phone calls stretch for longer times and when they stop then there, are, then there is more of hanging out. I am a college student who is studying all the presentations and everything and after that you need to be very frank with your frustration and you can understand the person in front of you. If you have got, if you got emotional, enough emotional support from your family and friends, I think it's okay. You don't need uh, to be in a relationship. I used to think about guys is that they are only involved in flirting and they don't really understand girls properly. But in my case, I think he really understands me well. For some, it is very important. Some girls who can't handle themselves, I think they need a man in their life. Okay, so you got lucky. You have a nice young man or a woman in your life. So what happens next? Is it different for men and women? Do the different sexes want different things from a relationship? I think I would want someone very handsome in the first place. Very, very handsome. Extremely rich, no matter even if it's your father's wealth. And he should be charming. Looks well, you know, well composite. So she has to be wealthy and uh, she must know how to cook. I think she should be good looking a bit. Uh, She should at least have a long hair. I think uh, more than anything, he should respect me, love me, care for me, and then uh, I think uh, if he's funny, it's more, it's good for me. A um, little bit of money is okay, but money is not like the hardcore thing I need in a relationship. The most important thing for me is that the person should like my kind of music and movies and should be able to talk well. Boys, after getting in a relationship, uh, yes, they do. They expect a lot more, and then after all that. They expect uh, ladies, their ladies to be liberal, to be forgetful, more understanding and uh, uh, the thing is that when they are not in a relationship, they do not need space. Once they are in a relationship, they do need space. So that's that's their guys' expectations from girls and uh, about girls, oh, they are never short of expectations. Men actually jump into relationships very easily, uh, but then it's easier for them to get out of the relationship, whereas women, they are a little more... Uh, sensitive I think so it's difficult they might take time to get into a relationship it is 2013 the age of digital and real-life freedom many people are talking about premarital sex open relationships and live-in relationships but are these for real I think it's damn cool to be in an open relationship a premarital sex or open relationship or live-in relationship they existed before also they're not so exposed but now, like everyone talk about very openly, so even I'm in support of this thing. Open relationships are actually easy to handle because uh, you have options to pick from. And uh, in living relationships, you, you, you do have expectations in the beginning, but then you always have the option to work out. Relationships today are more about being physical and they might not be really durable because see, nowadays people are more into open relationships, okay, and it's really fine 
it's really tough to find a guy to whom you can you know you can trust on completely or you can depend on because and that's why i think uh, people really prefer going for open relationships so that they can ju- they just can you know have sex and move on 